Being able to zip and unzip your files on your iPhone or your iPad adds some much needed flexibility to the Files app in iOS. And in this video, I'm gonna show you an effective and free way to zip and unzip your files. So let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And why is zipping and unzipping related to music? Well, a lot of applications that you use on your iPhone or your iPad use file structures that are in the Apple universe, which means that they're not compatible with the likes of your Dropbox, your Google Drive and your Microsoft OneDrive. So if you want to be able to transfer, backup, copy, share files, then you need to be able to zip and unzip. So in this video, I'm going to show you the Workflow app and we're going to show you how we can use this to set up some actions to both zip and then unzip our files. And we're going to use GarageBand files because they are one of those tricky files that are hard to share. So let's dive in and look at this right now. To do this, we're going to be using the Workflow app here on the iPhone, also available on the iPad. And I have a video where I show how to download and install and start using Workflow, which I'll link above and below. But let's assume that you have Workflow installed and you're ready to create this zip workflow. What we're going to do is create a zip and an unzip at the same time or in succession. So let's tap on Create Workflow. It's going to open a new untitled workflow. We now need to tap Action Extension, which is going to drop us over to the right here and now the top where it says this workflow accepts we'll tap on anything we're going to tap deselect all in the top left and then we're going to tap files because we only want this to accept files we're going to hit done and that has worked so we're now going to go and add our actions let's go to the bottom left and tap on actions and now what we want to do is we want to make an archive a zip file so we're going to tap and hold on make archive we're going to drag to the right and then we're going to release and here is our archive so the format here I suggest leaving it as zip, you can change that if you like, but zip is the most universal accepted in my experience. You can then give it an archive name, so you can tap that and put ask when run, or if you leave this blank as optional here as it is at the moment, it's just going to use the name of the file, or if you select multiple files, the name of the first file as the zip file. So that's what we're going to do because I want to use an example here where we're only zipping up one file. Let's add our next action now. We'll tap in the bottom left. And this time we're going to go to the quick look. So this is going to give us a preview. So we're going to tap and hold on quick look, drag to the right and release. So that's going to give us our preview. And then the third and final action we're going to add by tapping on the actions in the bottom left. Now we want to save the file. So we're going to tap and hold on save file. And we're going to move that across to the right and drop that under there. Now the location or the service that we have here, iCloud Drive, we can tap that and change that to Dropbox or Box. I suggest leaving it as iCloud Drive because if you have iCloud Drive, what it will do, if you have this ask where to save, it will drop you to your files app here in iOS and your iPhone or your iPad, which means you can then save it to Google Drive, to Dropbox, to your own device, anywhere you like. So that makes it super handy in my opinion. A couple of things we wanna do just to clean this up is let's adjust our settings. So we'll tap on the cog in the top right here to go to our settings. We're going to tap on name and we'll delete untitled workflow. And let's give it a simple name. Let's just call this one zip, if we can spell, and go done. And then the icon, we'll go to icon. We'll tap in the middle here. Let's just give it a filey looking kind of icon. Let's go with this one and go to color. And I'm going to make it orange for this one because I'm also going to make an unzip, which I'm going to make green. So just for my brain to understand which one's which, we're going to make the same one, but one orange, one green. We hit done, we hit done again, we hit done again, and there is our zip action ready to go. So I'll show you how we use this in a moment, but while I'm in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an unzip action so I can show you both how to zip and unzip at the same time. And we're actually going to cheat a little bit here because we're going to duplicate this. So let's tap on edit. And you can see we get our little wiggles going on here. We're going to tap on the zip. And then up in the top right here, we can actually duplicate. So we'll press the little plus button in the top right. And there we go. We've got zip number one. We're going to tap done now. And now let's go ahead and edit this zip one to turn it into an unzip. So we're going to tap on zip one. Now the first thing I'm going to do just to tidy up and make sure I know which one is which is tap on the cogs here. I'm going to go into name. I'm going to delete this zip one and I'm going to call it, not surprisingly, unzip. We'll then go to our icon. Let's make this one green so we know the difference between our zip and our unzip nice and easily. And then we need to hit done because we need, now need to make the changes to our actions because instead of making an archive, we want to extract an archive. So let's tap on the X in the top right of make archive and make that go away. And I can say the word archive a bunch of times. Let's tap on actions now and we're going to go extract archive. Let's tap and hold on extract archive and then make sure that goes right at the top here here, 
and there you go. We don't have any options for this because it depends on the archive you're extracting, so we're gonna leave it as is. We're gonna hit done, and there we go. We have our zip and our unzip actions ready to go, and how cool is that? That took us less than five minutes, and we have these set up and ready to go and to use. So now, let's dive into the Files app. So I'm gonna go back to my home screen, I'm going to go to files let's just slide down and type in files and jump into my files app and we'll show you an example here i'm back in my garage band file transfer folder and you can see i've already been playing around with this because i've already got a zip there for my studio live today theme so what i'm going to do is let's do the same thing for this outro so down in the bottom left here you can see we've got a garage band file so if i tapped on that it would open but what i want to do is i want to zip it up because let's pretend that i want to send this to a friend i want to email it as a zip file because they want to check this out so let's go we'll tap on select we'll then scroll down to this outro we'll tap that now if we wanted to zip multiple files we could just select multiples like this and it will zip them all up into one archive i don't suggest it especially for things like projects because the dot band garage band project files actually have a whole bunch of files in there already so it gets very messy i would suggest one zip per file unless you're zipping up documents or picture files or something else so Anyway, let's now press on the bottom left here, which will bring up our actions. And now we can tap on our run workflow. If you don't have run workflow here, check out the previous video where I show how to set up this to run workflow directly from these actions. We'll tap on run workflow. And here we are now, we've got our, we could convert to MP3 or we've got our zip and our unzip. So let's zip it up first of all. We're gonna tap on zip. It's going to go away and make the archive. It's brought up our preview here. So if we wanna preview the content, you see there it's got six files. That's because these .band files actually have six different files inside them. So if we tap on preview content, we can actually come in here and slide through. And this is actually pretty cool. You can see the screenshots and the audio files and the data files that are within a .band garage band file. Anyway, let's slide back here now and we can tap on done in the top left and it'll now ask us where we want to save it. So this is where I said it's very cool because we can select absolutely anywhere, any of our cloud storage services, but for convenience, I'm just going to save it back to my GarageBand file transfer folder. I'm going to tap add, and there we go, it is done. So now you can see we have a second zip file up the top here, which is this outro zip file. Now, let's pretend that uh, I've sent that away, my friend has unzipped it on their phone, they've added some new tracks and they've sent it back to me and now I want to extract the new zip file, in fact let's just uh, let's just help out here by just calling this uh, Studio Live Today new, so just so that we know the difference, so this is the new version that I've got back and I want to unzip it back to my folder so that I can open it in GarageBand, well piece of cake right, we tap on select, we tap on that file there and then we hit our little bottom left here, a little share icon, we hit run workflow again and now not surprisingly we tap on unzip and here we go, it extracts the archive, it gives us a quick look, yep here is our view again, we can tap, it doesn't actually give us the files this time around because it's extracting, it sort of hasn't really got the preview there yet, we're going to tap on done though and now it's going to ask us where to save it out. We're going to save it here. We'll go add. Now what it's going to do is it's going to ask me to replace or keep both because we actually have that file already here and the file name hasn't changed. So we'll just keep both just to show you what that does. And there you go. A brand new copy of version two of that outro is up there now. So what we've done here is that we have taken this file down here, this outro file. We've zipped it up from 618 kilobytes down to 225 kilobytes. And then we have sent it off what we pretended to we've brought it back we've unzipped it and here is our new file 618 kilobytes exactly the same here but of course if that had changed it would be different because someone would have made alterations to it so you can quickly see that this is really handy not just for sharing but for copying for backing up for sending things to your cloud storage this has 101 different applications it's a very cool way to organize your files and to quickly send those off, email them, send them through Facebook, whatever you want to do with them. So that is going to do it for today. There's a heap more that you can do and explore, but I wanted to keep this quick. If you've got any other suggestions for great workflow things that you can do that you've tried, then definitely let me know and I'll see you next time around. And there you go, once again, a very cool use of the Workflow app. And as you can see, it's very simple to set up those actions and then be able to zip and unzip your archive files right here on your iPhone or your iPad. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We've got a heap more videos all about audio creation, which are linked in the links down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon or head to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness. Great timing, Plane.